Have you ever felt pull of the dark side? Well, if so, this episode's gonna be great for you because I'm gonna show you how to make a Darth Maul makeup with some pieces that we made previously so you can be as evil as you wanna be. Come to the dark side. We have cookies. And milk. Begin by shaving all of your hair off and shaving your head. That is a prerequisite to this build. You cannot use anything like a bald cap. You have to shave your head. Of course I'm kidding. If you want to shave your head, you can do so, but you can also do a bald cap. You can find many videos on YouTube on how to do that. Make sure everything's dry and clean, and once you're done, admire your new farmer's tan and the lines where your glasses were at because that's awesome. Get you a reference image because you're going to need that to figure out what you're going to do and your prosthetic pieces that we made in our last video. If you need to see that video, check in the playlist and you will see exactly where we made those latex pieces. Mark your placement before you start putting things on your head so you'll know that everything's lined up the way you want. Don't forget to click that subscribe button since that popped up. I figured I'd say it and put on a shirt because once you have the horns on it's going to be hard to put something on over top of those horns if it's tight and since i'm going with kind of a half turtle neck on the collar there i figured i'd go ahead and put it on now we're going to use liquid latex to attach our pieces just by putting a little bit on the piece a little bit on our head and then attaching the piece just hold it in place until it dries. Liquid latex is pretty good. It dries pretty fast and uh, it holds pretty well. So once you're done with the single piece, realize you look like a rhinoceros. Admire how awesome a rhinoceros is and move on to the next piece. We're gonna continue this around the head, making sure everything's where we want it and smoothing out any drips of latex because that will show up in your final makeup. Don't forget to put it on both sides, the inside of the piece as well as your head just to ensure a good adhesion. Now I've gone with a little bit of latex on a brush to kind of smooth out the transition between where it sits on my head and my actual skin because there's going to be a little bit of a um, difference in level and also it helps to hold everything in place. So once everything's done, throw that brush away if you use latex on it because you're not going to be able to use it again. I stole an eyeliner pencil from my daughter. Well, actually, I borrowed it. And I'm using this to rough in the shapes that I'm going to be painting. Making some mistakes along the way, adjusting the lines as I go. And at some point, I get a little bit frustrated as I'm doing this, and I solicit the help of my daughter, who takes it and does the rest of it for me, because this is kind of difficult to do looking in a mirror. So take your time with it, and uh, if you can get somebody to help you out, it'll make life a little bit simpler for you. So just continue this process until everything's done, or somebody has done it for you, and you should be good to go. And then we're going to move on to painting. As you can see, this is where I left and asked for help. I'm using CC Beauty Professional Cosmetics Grease Paint Makeup. I got this on Amazon for, I don't know, 12 bucks. Works pretty good for this. It's not the best quality out there, uh, but it works pretty good. So we're just going to start with the red. And I just add a little bit of water to kind of activate that paint. And then you can just use a, a paintbrush, not a toothbrush and you can start putting it on. And one layer actually covers pretty well and stays on pretty nice. Of course, at some point I start sweating, you can start seeing little beads of sweat through the, the paint, but that's kind of the reason you should have a fan going. Once you're done with the red, move on to painting in the black. Again, don't be afraid to solicit some help from somebody else if you need it, or you just keep doing it on your own such as this. Make sure the latex is completely dry around the horns before you start painting the black around there. 
Once the black is done, I'm going to add a little bit of grungy colors to the horns to make them look a little different. It's just a little bit of yellow and brown that I'm just touching on there, smearing around. And I would suggest waiting until the very end to do your eyes. You don't have to do that, but why have the makeup around your eyes longer than you need to? Once you're done, you'll look like this. And that's the basics of the makeup. I didn't go all the way up and around. I didn't go around back. I didn't even get my neck. I have this half turtleneck, I guess you would call it, half turtleneck on that uh, with just a little piece of material. I can kind of convert into a, uh, a real one. Just got to throw it around and tuck it in the back. Whatever you got to do. Just be creative, especially if you're just doing a little photo shoot. No one's going to see most of it. And I don't have a hood, but I've got another piece of black material that I can drape. And now, as far as it looks to most people, I have a hood. Come to the dark side. Dark side. <laughs> so that's it. If you uh, have not seen how to make the prosthetic pieces that we made, check in the video archives on my channel. There you'll see how we made a mold. We've cast them so we can make multiple real easy and uh, you can make all kinds of different things. I just decided to make some horns to do, to do this makeup. So um, removal is um, follow the directions on your makeup. Mine says to use baby oil so I'm going to use baby oil and everything else. And these pretty much just, just come off. And you can trim them up, get rid of some of that old latex and save them to use another time. Or you could just look ridiculous with spots on your head. Ow. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. So now I'm going to take a shower. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. See you on the dark side. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to be evil. Just like me. Ha <laughs> ha.